All right, so let's talk about the online attendance feature in New Analytics. If you have New Analytics installed in your Canvas course, you'll see it pop up right here when you're on your home page, right? And when you click on that, you'll access it. But how do you get that there? Well, the first thing you want to do is in your class, go into Settings. Once you're in Settings, go into Feature Item or Options. And then in here, you'll see that there are some added features that aren't automatically turned on. And if you want to turn them on, you have to do that yourself. And so as you scroll down, you'll see that there is new course and user analytics right here. And so by checking that box, you will turn that feature on. And it gives you just a quick brief you know update of what it is but it does give you a little bit of warning that the data may take 24 hours to appear so you'll see what I mean by that when I show you an example of it and then there's a link here to get to the user group if you have questions but I have mine turned on as you can see so I'm gonna go back and look at the analytics so now I just need to click the new analytics tab and when you get here you'll see that there is nothing. <laughs> well, there's only nothing because class just started. But you'll see that there are tabs across the top here. You'll get an average of what your grade is in the course. So it's the first week. And so that gives you the uh, course grade. You can also look at weekly online activity. You can look at your students. You can look at some reports. And then there's this tab for online attendance. So let's click on that one. All right, so once you are in the online attendance tab, you'll be able to see your students that are listed down here. I've covered up the name so you can't see. And then you'll be able to see what days that they have actually done something. So you can look at this in the week view, which is what I am looking at, or you can even change it to the day view. And so I changed it to Tuesday, the first day of the class, and I can see who actually did something on the first day of the class. But I like looking at the week view just so I can see if students are engaged at some point during the week. So that delay, today is Thursday, and you can see here there's nothing listed here. And that's because it won't show up until tomorrow. So just keep that in mind that it is a 24-hour delay. So I can see that in the first week of the semester that I have uh, students who are engaged at least one of the two days that we've had class so far. And as I scroll down, I can see who hasn't been engaged. And that one student, oh, there's two, that, uh, oh, he's in there twice, um, that haven't uh, been engaged, they actually have not finished the orientation and they're not going to continue on in the class. But I can look at this and see that students have actually done something. Now, if you click on the settings, we can't change the settings, but it'll, it will at least show you what I wrote about in the article. It covers if students submit a post, a, an assignment, join a conference, uh, create a page, or submit a quiz. And if they do any of those items, then it will record as attendance. Now, the default used to be that if they just logged into the course, which doesn't tell us anything, so I'm glad that part is turned off. Now you have the option to use all the days. So here I have just the weekdays, but if I wanted to count Saturday and Sunday, which you possibly should if you're teaching an online class because a lot of students will do work during those days. And that could possibly give you a little bit more information. So if a student who didn't do anything on Monday may have been in there on a, mon on a Sunday. So you can choose every day or you can just choose the weekdays. So that's pretty much it. And if you wanted to go through and through the weeks these arrows would be live and you can continue on but since we've just started this is week one if I go backwards obviously it's going to be all X's uh, but uh, that's just one way to do it now you can also run reports if you need to do that but for the most part I like to just come in here and check to see who's been doing what and get a check and see oh this person has all X's let me reach out to them and uh, see what's going on so if you haven't turned on new analytics yet Go ahead and follow those directions and get it added to your Canvas course.